welcome back to Kendra's Vintage Kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a 1950s breakfast recipe. Um, so while I was doing my research uh, for finding a recipe or what I might be even trying to make today, um, I found a lot about uh, some of the different things that they were, would eat uh, in the 1950s. I'm sure some of you still eat them probably even today. Uh, some of the things I found was uh, coffee and cereal was a popular thing, orange juice and coffee cake, uh, frosted flakes, Eggo waffles, uh, tricks, special K, and coffee and toast. Uh, toast and uh, like things that started coming into tubes, so like cinnamon rolls that came in tubes. Um, stuff like that and the last thing I found was Cheerios. So today uh, I decided I would do a coffee cake recipe and my coffee cake recipe will be out of this book. And this book is um, from 1954. Alright, so let's get to it. All right, so this recipe is called the, the Double Quick Coffee Bread. And you can find it on page 16 of the book if you own the book at home. So uh, the first thing it says is, in a mixing bowl, dissolve yeast in warm water, add sugar and salt, and about half the flour. So it called for three a uh, fourth a cup of warm water, which is anywhere from 110 to 115 degrees. I'm gonna put it in my bowl here. And then it calls for one package of yeast. And then I'm gonna let it sit there and bubble up a little bit. And then I'll add in the sugar and salt and half the flour. And we're going up. All right, now that I've had that sit there for a little bit, I'm gonna add my sugar, which is a fourth a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to add in my salt, which is a teaspoon of salt. All right, and then it said half, about half the flour. So it said, um, two and a quarter cup of sifted flour. So I've got my sifter here, I'm gonna set it on there. And I've got my two and a quarter cup of flour right here. So I'm gonna add about half. Let's see, that's probably close to half. All right, and then after that, it says Thir beat thoroughly two minutes. So I'll beat my flour mixture here. Let's see. Now that I've combined all those ingredients, it says then add egg and shortening. It said, uh, in the recipe, it said one egg and then a fourth a cup of soft shortening or butter. So I've got butter instead of shortening. So I will add my butter in. And my one egg.
And then it says, after I add those ingredients, it says, beat in rest of flour gradually until smooth. So I will add the rest of my flour. We've got our dough made. So uh, I know the next step said to let it rise and stuff, but I'm going to make one of the uh, like additions that it has here. It had uh, cherry butterscotch, tutti frutti buns, and cinnamon streusel. And I will be doing the cinnamon streusel one. For that, I will need two tablespoons of butter, a third a cup of granulated or brown sugar, two tablespoons of flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon, half a cup of chopped nuts, and then I'll mix it all in this bowl. So I got my two tablespoons of butter, uh, my third a cup of granulated sugar, my two tablespoons of flour, my two teaspoons of cinnamon, and my chopped nuts which are uh, pecans. Alright, now that I got that, it says uh, to spoon the dough into an eight or nine inch square pan and then sprinkle uh, the topping on top of the dough. So I'm gonna get my pan ready and I'll be right back. All right, now I'm gonna add my dough to the pan that I've greased and gotten ready. And then I'm going to add my streusel mixture on top of the... All 
All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to uh, cover this and I'm going to let it rise for 50 to 60 minutes. I'll see you then. All right, welcome back. Uh, the uh, bread should be done rising. I set my timer for uh, 60 minutes for the bread to rise. And then I also preheated my oven for the last like 10 minutes while the bread was rising for uh, 375. I'm gonna get my bread out of here, um, cover it. And then I'm gonna throw it in the oven. And then it said to cook for 30 to 35 minutes. So I will set a timer for 30 minutes. And I'll see you then. All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, here I have my whole uh, coffee cake done and then I um, cut myself a slice. So let's try. That's really good. Uh, in fact, this has probably been one of my favorite recipes I've made so far. So um, I will probably uh, at least try and put the recipe in the description of this video. Uh, so you can also enjoy making this coffee cake at home. If you don't already have this cookbook here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.